Hi, I'm Jerry with Quest Diagnostics Healthcare Department, and today I'm going to be showing you what our centrifuges are for any of the types of healthcare that we do. And what I'm going to be showing you today is this is our big centrifuge that most of the time will be out in our statewide sites. This is called a CL2 centrifuge, and it is what's called a 16 cup centrifuge. And the reason I have this one here today is because when we send these out to the statewide sites, um, we need to make sure that these are set up properly when they are plugged in. When you plug them in, they are automatically set at 0.1, and you must set them up. You must push the button to set them up to 3.2 in order for this to spin at the correct RPMs. The time has already been automatically set for you at 10 minutes, so you do not have to worry about that. When you load this machine, we have cups in the bottom here that are marked A1234, B1234 to help you when you are loading the machine to make sure that those samples stay in order as they go. Once you close the lid, you hit the green button and it will start and it'll time it down to 10 minutes. When the machine stops on its own, the lid will automatically go green again and you can hit the button to open them up. The other centrifuge that we have out here today is what is called our six cup centrifuge. This one only holds um, six samples at a time. When you are at a health fair, you are going to get a box. Hopefully you're gonna have a table off to the side that is sorting your samples before they come to you directly. You will be getting a box with samples in it that should look like this with paperwork that should have already been checked and made sure that they are in order. When you go to, this is what's called an unspun sample. That means that our gel is in the bottom and you have all this red stuff up at the top. That is your whole blood at this moment in time. What you're going to do is the centrifuges are marked one, two, three, four, five, six to help you with the um, loading of the centrifuge so that you keep them in order. Once you have loaded six samples in here or if you don't have six samples to fill it up, you can body balance the centrifuge um, with the tubes. You can do three or two and two, just as long as it is balanced when you run it. The only tubes that we are spinning are what are called the tiger tops or the serum separator tubes, which again is the tube that has the gel in the bottom. What you do is you turn, you load your machine, you turn it on, and this machine is automatically set up to go to the to RPMs by the manufacturer and the time is also set up. So the only thing you have to do with this machine is to load it, turn it on, and it will automatically shut off at the time. So once your centrifuge has completely stopped and you are done, you hit the open button, which will allow the latch to unlock. You will go back to your starting button, number one, and you will pull it out and it should automatically go into your first spot. What we're looking for now is that this sample has now been spun and you're looking for the red blood cells to be on the bottom, our serum in the middle, or our gel in the middle and our serum on the top because that's what we are wanting to see. Once you have done your spinning, you should be able to pull the tubes out in order and place them back in the box and take this box to your next table where they will be assorted, sorted appropriately to the boxes. The most important thing about the centrifuges when you're in the field is these centrifuges must continue to run throughout the fair in order to stay on top of the spinning of the bloods. So once you have pulled this out, you should have a next box ready to go and you load it and start one through six again, start the machine again.